His Majesty Emperor Ojama Purple of House Ojama, the first of his name, Lord of the Lazy Lord, King of the Level 2 Beast, Slayer of the Lime, and the Unmoving Mass who was rightful heir to Ojama Country and all the lands east of Gear Town. Applause, applause. Build index the hard way. Have the hard way. Hey, what's up, you Ojama wannabes? And welcome to the deck build challenge, where each week two combatants face off with strange theme decks. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe. Joining me today, perennial uh, guy, Das Chili One. Why do I only come every other year? I, I don't know. That's something you have to talk about with your psychologist. And joining him today, the, the first of the patrons, the one, the only, Salt Leg Kale. I missed like the five seconds what previously just happened. Don't worry, it's going to be perfectly fine. It's going to be perfectly fine. And today we're revisiting a challenge from the very first year of the DBC. I think it's like the third episode. It's... Only monsters with zero attack. And as with many challenges like this, their deck has to be at least half monsters. You can't be like, oh, I got two zero attack monsters and a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of spell traps and burn damage and stuff like that. Okay, and nice to know that he too suffered the same as I did. You had more than fifty you went for more than forty cards, the two of you. I mean, it's very difficult. Are you trying to kill your opponent, or are you trying to pull off sick combos? And sometimes um, it's hard to um, distinguish between the two. Shouldn't, um, the, shouldn't the combos be responsible for killing your opponent? Um, sometimes. <laughs> well, let's see. Other what? times, you're trying really hard just not to die. Before we get into this more, is there anything that you guys uh, banned between yourselves? Because I know sometimes, like... There are little, like, a gentleman's agreements between DBC participants. We were like, no ghost, we, we've, no ghost girls. We tried to refrain ourselves from archetypes as far as possible. As and, far uh, as possible? As far as possible. So you're not like, no archetypes, but you're like, but kind of no archetypes. Yeah, because it's all like, you know, the Salamangrate Almirage, which is a Link 1 with zero attack, but it's all like, it's the only Salamangrate with zero attack. Are we really going to stop us from playing that just because it's a Salamangrate? Okay, so, it was so mostly you, a so no can... Ojama, no Time Lord situation. Oh, okay. yeah. I, how, uh, how come uh, no Ojamas? What can you do with... Oh, I guess you could make the fusions and stuff. Delta Hurricane. <laughs> just that. Just that. I, I, if, it's all like I, I, I play tested like these past 12 hours furiously, and it's all like, had I gotten my way, I probably would have found a way to break those guys in half. Labyrinth wall. <laughs> you do a yes. zero attack normal monsters. It's not hard enough that they're zero attack. I mean, Joe, Joe, you remember what happened last time when, 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 when I was given a challenge. It's all like this time I can do the same thing, except now I'm not entirely limited. Hmm. You remember what happened last time, Joe? I can't say that I do. I do a lot of these, and they all kind of just meld together. My favorite monster. Well, second favorite monster. Box of Friends. Hey, 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 hey. Stop that. Back to the front. So so is this your plan, Chili, to have zero attack monsters with a legendary ocean, so they all have 200? <laughs> um, I guess kind of, by <laughs> extension. Interesting. I remember the is, first time I did this, it was just, like, full of, like, Chaos Necromancer and, like, Satellite Cannon and, like, stuff that has printed zero attack but then goes up under different circumstances. There's there's a reason that these things exist. Ah, you're playing the long game. I see how it is. I, too, am playing the long game. I, I think Kale and, I, Kale and I might be playing the same long game. <laughs> It doesn't look like it. One of you has water, and the other one has two computer fans and a bunch of normal monsters. <laughs> yeah, but we both have aquas. Ki kinda? Oh, it is an aqua. His is wind aqua, though. <laughs> Why a fan is an aqua, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I guess it's one of those springtime ones. 
Start step of the battle phase. Okay, I'm going to activate magical hats. Oh, oh. so magical! This, Much hat. Wow. This is this is just, this is just a rehash of what happened previously, although this time I'm not entirely prepared for it. Uh, gear town into I... a zero attack ancient gear. <laughs> There are no zero attack ancient gears except for the ancient gear tokens, which um, only are summoned by various ancient gear cards and not by the field spell itself. Then oh, I, I was no supposed to wait for this. Doing. I was supposed to wait for this. I'm about to suffer. <laughs> oh, well, deck thinning, the movie, the game. All right. I thought you were going to do some sort of clever thing with, like, I, putting I was, spell traps but... in the grave. I mean, I technically am. Um... How about you change your attack target there real quick? Oh, you're All right, I'll change my attack target to uh, no one. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. 2100 defense. No one gets past the snowman eater. Uh, he eats am the I snowman almost there? and doesn't afraid of anything. I'm almost there, actually, Is it the snowman or is it the thing underneath the snowman? It yes. is the thing underneath the snowman, but also by extension the snowman because it's his hat. <laughs> Listen, I wonder if it's his hat or if it's one of those things like the uh, the undersea angler. We're like, no, that's part of him. It's a growth coming off of his back. It just happens to look like a snowman. Icebound. Ah, that time that Gaga got or go Ga Gaga Gigo took a a moment. Took a moment break from being turned into an evil cyborg and decided to teach the goblin attack force how to ice skate. Uh, this 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 mad lad did it. He he, I'm I'm actually scared. He summoned mucus yolk. Yeah, it's one of the direct attackers that gain a thousand when you hit somebody. But uh, this thing starts out with zero attack. So of course. Fear. Does he have the equip card? I hope he doesn't. He better not. Call the police if he does. <laughs> because you know it, do it doesn't it doesn't benefit from a legendary ocean like everything. And I'm pretty sure there's a water monster with zero attack that does that same thing. This this mad lad brought out the Marincess Crystal Heart. Oh hey, stop it's like it! Like a crystal beast, but with fundamental differences. Stop it! Now there's two of them. And now. Oh, I, this, this man came in here for the long game. I'm actually scared. Rage of the Deep Sea. I think this is what we used last time. I believe this was on the thumbnail, actually. Here I thought we were doing something very different, but no, Rage of the Deep Sea just makes himself known once more. Uh, I don't know, I just thought, like, this is fish. a dumb thing. Do it's I go... A... This is How a far dumb enough go? deck for me to make. It sounds wonderful. And Screw I just it. like the generic water support. I think all of it is lovely. You were just stalling like crazy, Scale. Um, I'm almost there to my combo. Actually, it's like if you do have my combo, I'm just missing a certain monster from it. But I'm almost there to my combo. It's battle Fader and Vortex Trooper. Pretty much. Oh, you're about to take 400 damage at least. No, I'm not. I'm about to take no damage. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm about to take no damage whatsoever. Are you really going to prevent 400 damage? Um, yes. <laughs> I need all 8,000 life points for my combo to work. <laughs> it is very frail. It is very important that I keep my life points uh, as my life points. Um, okay, so uh, first and foremost, I will activate magical hats again. <laughs> More hats! I target this. I get Starlight, Star Bright, and you know what? What else could I use right now? Uh, Why are you playing no magical hats if you don't have any cool targets for it, Kale? The, Joe, Joe, just, just, just wait a moment, Joe. Just wait a moment. There has to be a better way to stall than magical hats. No, it's. I'm not even using it for stalling. I'm using it for significantly different purposes. Okay, now that I got those, I activate Sound the Retreat! Return all monsters you control. <laughs> so it's monsters. the most roundabout way to search anything you possibly could. Now, Battle Fader. Of course. 
I wouldn't do it unless I was going to be well protected. And I'm well protected here. So and now you, I must you, resolve you, magical hats. So you played this combo, and you put in all this draw power, and in doing so, you went far over 40 cards, <laughs> making it more <laughs> unlikely that you were going to draw the combo that you needed. I mean, I do play Trap Trick. <gasps> yes! Yes! <laughs> Someone's excited. I'm very excited. I've got dark, I've got wind, I've got water, I've got earth. I need a light and a fire. Um. The way you said yes, I thought your combo was done, not like, yes, I'm almost to my combo. <laughs> I mean, technically, this'll, this'll work for, oh wait, no, he has eyes, Bon, I hate you. Oh, uh, I, this sucks. <laughs> this whole time you there. were preparing, and you're like, ah, oh, I didn't count on my opponent doing stuff. Exactly. Now we're at the wall. A uh, special sum? Oh no. What? Well, you, you're oh, okay. Thank goodness. I was like, your Umi fucks up my combo. Everything's lower by a level. Don't worry, everyone's now level 5. They're forced to be. Alright. Now what do you uh, do no. with a bunch of level I'm 5 level pixies? Four. Okay, you may be level 4, but I'm level 5. True defense. Stop that. <clears throat> Can you prevent that attack, Kale? Um... Because if not, you just wasted a whole lot of monsters doing a whole lot of... You could have sat on Labyrinth Wall for who knows how long. I mean, I would have taken 4,000 damage had I done that, but still. 4,000? I thought it was just 2,000. Oh no, 4,000. No, 000. I take 4k if I, if I, if I don't use those monsters... If I don't make I ah, Xyz Summon. It doesn't have to be that Xyz Summon, but it has to be I ah, Xyz Summon. Message in a bottle... Ooh. <laughs> Thank you for the card. Like, yeah, you would. You're gonna take four thousand anyway. If I took the damage, I I'm don't just, take the damage. I'm just willing to to sit here and you know, wait for you to do that. <laughs> just gonna sit here and wait for me to slowly die. Yep, Chili's just leaning back, like, okay, he's gonna stall, but it it's Kale, so I'm not worried. I had one of my friends make one of these decks to test, and I will admit it's scaring. That one scared me a lot more than Kale's is right now. Yes. <laughs> At um, this rate, okay. Kale's gonna deck himself out long before you do. Incorrect, sir. Um, I don't now like. What's the... more important to you? I don't like Aquarium Stage, and I don't like Eisbon. Aquarium Stage can revive whatever it likes. I don't. Th I, I'm pretty sure you don't have anything in that graveyard that's that terrifying, right? He has that right? zero attacker that gains attack, and now he has an equip card. No, he has Snowman Eater. Snowman Eater isn't, isn't scary. No, he's not. Not unless he's face down, and if he's face down, you don't even know he's there. Just like, oh, hey. Surprise. Elemental Grace Doriado. That's, that's, that's what I was doing with these normal monsters, just... just... Building my way up to Elemental Grey Storiato. Just getting up to 3,000, and, like, Rage of the Deep is just barely not powerful enough. So, you can still, t you still take, you still die by battle, and you still take the damage. Oh, I thought I didn't die by battle. <laughs> no, it protects you from card effects, not battle. Oh, well. Oh, none of the F F5s or safe. F6 do Hey, things. stop that. And it has no protection, so there you go. <laughs> Fine, I'll just leave. I'll just leave on my own terms. Well, congratulate! Really? You did eight hundred damage, and now what? <laughs> now we're oh, now we're oh. back in an aquarium. Uh, God damn it! Stop it! Oh, he's slowly building. A, he's playing the long, long game. He is, and I don't like it. You're playing the. You're like, oh, I gotta do all this stuff to get three thousand. He's like, nah, I'm gonna make them all five hundred. What's that? Well, 2,000? Three more is... turns and you're dead. Apparently, my long game strategy is working, so don't knock it, Trump. 
I don't know what this crystal heart is doing or why you have snowman eater in attack mode, but this is the deck build challenge. Shit like this happens sometimes. <laughs> uh, well, he's got zero attack, so I messed up. my guys have more than zero. I always keep on forgetting to do a thing when 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 I have this. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> you hide your freaking ice bar, and I'm going to get it personally. You could have just and played have... stumbling. Oh hey, slushy, slushy, yeah. destroyer stumbling. of worlds. Stumbling would have done. Well, actually, no, stumbling wouldn't have done you better. But still, um, you activate slushy. I'll activate ye. Maju Garza. <laughs> Joe, you should... Joe, I've told you what my favorite monster is. But his attack only becomes the combined attack of all the original... The original monster. The original attack. Yeah. Uh, everything in your deck has an original attack of zero, Kale. Joe, jo, don't worry. Don't worry, Joe. I got... I, I got this mostly. Dustin! I don't think you got this at all. If you, end, worry, up having, if you end up getting this, I'm going to be very surprised. <laughs> Part of me is just waiting for Kale to slip up and be like, oh yeah, I played this monster, not realizing it's a monster and it has more than zero attack. <laughs> no, I I, like I've, I've made sure that point. all my monsters are zero. I've made, I've, I've done a lot of hard work. It, damn I, it! I did a lot of research of looking at the numbers very closely and then like, I imagine Kale sitting there with a picture of a zero in his hand. And like looking back and forth between the monster and the page, like, yep, that's definitely a zero. Thank goodness your eyes bond does what it does. Now I won't take the damage. Um, I need to make sure that my feel. Ah, oh, damn it! I wasn't. This could, is could the slowest self mill deck I've ever seen, Kale. <laughs> Do me a favor, kill one of my... Wait, no, I can just throw my monsters away. Why am I asking you to do me favors? Lapis Dragon? Where's Lazuli Dragon? That's the question. Oh, apparently, it, its original name was Hooked Shinen Sinker. That, that's a terrible pun, and I want to throw whoever did it. Uh... I don't know what set this thing came out in, so I can't tell you why it's called Lapis Dragon now. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? It's added from your deck to your hand. So wait, did you just draw, draw it and summon it, or did yeah. you tribute something yeah. for that? I, I drew it and summoned it. Also, I wouldn't have to tribute it. It's level 4 right now. Ah, so, e so even if it's drawn by, like, in your normal draw phase, that counts as being added from your deck to your hand? Yeah, yeah. that's why... You'd be surprised how often, though, it just appears in your starting hand and doesn't work. <laughs> that's why, in a pot of extravagance stops you from searching or uh, other such cards that's like hey you can't add cards from deck to hand because that also includes drawing hmm. okay end of the main phase is fine and during the end phase please I throw this away and I, wait no I don't want to activate that one I want to activate this one banishing Banish one monster Maju control, or one monster in your graveyard and special summon it as a trap. Okay. I I it don't is... understand. Joe, my favorite monster. Message in a bottle. Whoa. Oh, it's a level nine. Yes. Um, you have other level nines though. Um, I'm just I don't need to have other level to see nines. where this goes. A uh, message in a bottle summons out a bunch of monsters. Starlight, star bright, forces everyone to become the same level if they share the same attack or defense. They are all zeros. And now I summon out my favorite monster. Ah, straight out of the level nine challenge. Yes. Number 92. Heart Earth Dragon. And it's in defense. <laughs> Stop that. And then next... Oh, he can't be destroyed by battle. Oh, okay. You need another can't snowman eater. Can't kill me in a fight. <laughs> True, but his entire thing is that, like, your opponent takes the damage. So what, are you going to just do 500 to him? What if he didn't have a quip card? You'd be doing zero to him unless he moved foolishly into defense. If I, if I have to, 
I will hit him for 500 until the end of the game. <laughs> if I have to. We're already on turn 27 anyway. But, um, Besides just letting this play out, it will happen to someone eventually. I think you're going to deck out before you uh, do 500, before you 500 him to death. Is that common I cherry? Hope I won't deck out. That Another... guy looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh character, but I know he's not. <laughs> uh, he is he's... a representation of Joey. I mean, he kind Pretty of much. vaguely looks like him, but not really. That's probably because you haven't heard the Brooklyn accent. Wait, did you just play something that made your guys strong? Okay, good. No, Aquarium Sage just protects him from being killed in a fight, but it's all like, we're all zero attack here. I'm not killing anyone in a fight. Not today. Play Zero Xerox. Make Zero Xerox happy. No, please don't have Zero Xerox. There's a, there's a patron get... named Zero Xerox. For those of uh, you in the audience who don't know. Shout I believe out he goes Zero by Zero Go Onizuka nowadays. Oh, is that he also the same guy? The Go... Yeah, he runs the Go Onizuka tw Twitter. Ah. Full of memes, often interacts with Rada. Cool guy. Uh oh. Someone I've just crackle popped. So... I don't think it was me. I moved my legs and accidentally unplugged my headset. <laughs> well, that's ominous. I've acquired enough advantage that I can. that I no longer wish to acquire advantage. There's like a weird, deep rumbling coming from outside. I am in tornado country. If I suddenly cut out, it's because a tornado has torn through my home and I'm probably dead. Oh, you better... Please don't. Please be safe. Joe, go be safe. Kale, somewhere. it will be up to you to complete the Legend of Lefty. Okay. Like Kale. Because he's I've the been creative here one. since forever. And I'm pretty sure... Oh my god, you too? <laughs> you too? <laughs> you I can only do mad. 500 and he's gonna I... heal 500 every turn oh, no. that's why I was unconcerned <laughs> this was gonna take so long I'd eventually draw into Golden Ladybug oh no Yamero ah well I don't know why I didn't summon that earlier good quest because you wanted to win with Hard Earth Dragon Yes. Not be destroyed by a battle only once per turn. Uh, it can't be destroyed by a battle in general, but I but since I used uh, Swordsman of Revealing Light, it get each turn the first time this thing would be destroyed by a battle. It's not destroyed, but it can't be destroyed by a battle in general. So I'm just, so it's just like it's just oh, there. Okay, yeah, I'm just looking over it. I'm like, this is a, that's weird. Can't be destroyed by a battle, but it already can't be destroyed by a battle. All right. Do you have another link that you can clear up some space, Chili? But unless he summons out another crystal heart, did he go through all his crystal hearts? No, he is not. If he plays three crystal heart, that is. Well, here's the thing: if I do, if I do that, he just attacks into it with hard earth, and it hurts. <laughs> It'll hurt a lot. That's for damn sure. You take the damage, you take the damage. You damned if you do, damned also if you do. Well, now, now yeah. Elemental Grace Doriato is doing stuff. That's fine. I have a plan. I was gonna. I've, I've been wondering what your plan is because you've been sitting on these five hundred attackers, and he just moves into defense. And I'm like, do you have something? Do you have something else you could do? Big oh. wave, small wave. All face up water monsters. Fear. But also fear. Did he summon? Wait, no. Colacanth has more than that. Fight me, fight me yourself. Fight me, you fool. All right. Well, that's nice and all, but you're gonna take six thousand next turn. I'm I took aware, the damage. But it was but instead. Something. I didn't take the damage. <laughs> Oof. Like, but what if I didn't take the damage? See, I would have like done all that. that and then set something in defense mode with, like, 100 defense. 
And as long as you can keep setting something. Oh. Oh. Big yeah. brain. <laughs> Big if true. Uh, by the way, I, wait, no, I should keep that there, but I don't want to keep that there. I'll do it anyway. Special ability. Yeet! Oh, yeah, it's unaffected by monster effects. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, harder. During the end phase, detach, and uh, it's all monsters that your opponent summoned that turn, right? Just get banished? Uh, all, mo all monsters they summon. Banish all cards your opponent currently controls that were normal or special summoned or were set this turn. That means you setting some spell traps, them getting gone too. If only we you had something with again. like zero defense. We're not a stalemate again. I hate that. Stop it. Yeah. Use big wave, small wave, just to stop me from killing him faster. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's very clever. It worked out. I mean, I do have. I still have something left to out this. I may have gone through both my Doriados, but I still. I can. I can still win. Why do you have two big waves, small waves? His deck's probably full of it. <laughs> but you don't have any attack. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what now, Mr. Kale? <laughs> um, that's the question. You're like, I lied. I have a third elemental grace, Doriato. And then I attack directly for 3,000. Except for Ice Bomb would move it into defense first, so you would get a chance. I shouldn't be going faster through my deck, but here I go, Mr. Spaceman. Um, do I have a level 3? I should have a level 3 somewhere. You need Although a level I... 4, and it'll become a level 3. No, I need a level 3 in general, but I think I've... That's a level two. I need a level three. I don't know if I've burned through all my level threes. I hope I haven't. <laughs> and and thus we play the waiting game. If I have a level three, I'll be fine. If I don't, I'm a little bit screwed. Just and just a little bit. Gonna save ourselves in case you can somehow put me in defense mode. Oh we, yeah. Even if, if you I could, did... that would be what? Like a hundred? For the next five turns. Per turn. Yes, but theoretically, he could beat through me very slowly. Very slowly, but... I mean, either way, he's gonna deck out unless he has a fucking, like, outstanding dog Marin teched in here. I, ca I can't activate this. <laughs> I was waiting to get to this earlier, but I can't activate it now. Just keep seven cards in hand, keep discarding Marin for turn, goes back into the deck. <laughs> that would be wonderful, but I... Uh, so what then? Two immortals, sword fighting until the end of time. I'd assume you give up at some point. Sword fighting and until a condition makes one of us die. Fight me yourself, Pansy. Bring out your god so I can kill him myself. You know, nor normally we do three duels, and I'm watching this, I'm like, I'm not sure if I want to see another duel of this. Yes! I got it! Because it's clear that the Chili's idea was to attack you, and your deck is nothing but I'm not going to attack ever. Oh? Oh. You have to win this turn, Kale. Uh, I can't do that. The... <laughs> I knew I was right not to believe in you. <laughs> Comment Wait. in the comments if you did not believe in him. F's in the chat. F's in the rebarian shark. Yes. Do do you have a rank up magic? Uh if I not if in I, his deck. If I played uh Ah. Uh, big sadness. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, no. I, I, I didn't plan for this. I didn't plan for this eventual. I thought you'd I be didn't... I didn't think you'd have zero attack monsters in this zero attack mirror match. I, I thought that you would actually, like, you know, bring something that would actually be able to fight me, like equip spells or something. I did. I, he did. I it's just the rage once, of the deep sea. Once it became it clear that all you were going to do is stall, Pansy. he changed Fight his tactics. 
Oh, if only you had magic cylinder. I fucking wish. Now, now I wish I had it. Electromagnetic turtle. Electromagnetic turtle. turtle. Does nothing, but still. In phase, play another card? Sure. I kill your boss monster and die in the process. That's fine. <laughs> At least the banish zone isn't entirely cold. <laughs> okay. okay. So the question is, did both of you build side decks? Yes. I put in a side deck. Will your side decks actually help you fight each other? <laughs> yes, actually, because I happen to play a card that helps me out his stuff. You got one uh, card out of the... F okay. You're up for one more match, then? Or not I'm, one more match, I, one more duel. We haven't even gone into the third duel. I know, but it's been 40 minutes on the first one. <laughs> what? Yeah. I call shenanigans. I mean, granted, we talked a little bit at the beginning. I'm pretty sure it wasn't 10 minutes, though. You're you're at least 30 minutes on the first duel. I think we were, Kale, we were you, kind of you decked out the old-fashioned way. <laughs> I, I was going so he, fast, I couldn't. He, I couldn't he, slow down. He was going through his deck, though. So I, I was going through my deck fast. I mean, you uh, get like one extra draw a turn, but it's still that was like a that was a forty-seven turn duel. Fast. I wonder. Has, has, hmm. I wonder if oh the connection ah! has been lost. Well, I guess I guess side the old-fashioned way. Okay. Yeah, I'm curious if the the does the turn limit go up to three to three uh what you three digits, digits? If there's any ever been like a hundred plus dual turn, turn that's dual. the question. <laughs> hundred plus dual turn, not turn yeah. dual dual turn. I'm sorry, like I said, my ear my I, I was talking to you guys earlier. I'm like my ears are like not popping, but they're they feel weird. The pressure's off. And now there's like rumbling outside. I think there's, there's something up with tumbling. the wind. Uh, Dang, Missouri, I tell you what. How fast do I need to go is the question. Very quickly. I mean, if you ask Not... Sonic the Hedgehog. You're too slow. Thank you, Sonic. I you, needed that. You, you do that really well, Kale. I mean, Come personally, on, I thought up. my voice was going to crack. <laughs> I mean, if it had, oh, wait, it would have been more hosting. realistic. That's what I expect from Sonic, to be honest. He what, seems like he's been going terrifying... through puberty for all of existence. I I hate to say that you're correct. But you're, but you're correct. not wrong. Because if you look at Rise of Lyric, he just sort of gets technically more edgier. <laughs> and gets bandages around his arms and legs, and it's just like, Sonic, who hurt you? <laughs> and he also gets taller and it's just like but 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 oh. Sonic 06 told me otherwise why is he still growing again okay, uh, you're invisible so oh, you also it. have to go and spectate anyway because uh, I was in the top slot so consistency oh. I like consistency I like the consistency of my peanut butter you don't of your peanut butter you say and you know while we're going into the second duel let me give a big old hard leg Patreon shout out to fucking nobody, cause I don't do that shit anymore. Hey, what about my shout Style out? Style upon. No, I I changed the way they work. Haven't you been reading the Patreon updates? I have, but it's all like you have one last shout out to give. Yeah, I believe that. I believe it's uh, I have the notes right here. Where was your last shout out in? Um, do 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 do. Uh. Speedroids? Speedroids. That was your last shout out, Kale. Then I probably fell asleep during it. Yeah. F's in the chat. So, for the viewers at home, how do the new shout outs work? Oh, th this will be the first episode that happens in them. Because the previous <laughs> What a Deck, I had to give the, the last batch of them. So, this will be the first one where I'm trying out the new, the new thing where I'm just reading off everyone's name at the end. Ah. Oh, I should probably activate this now. I have a document. Speaking of which, Kale, I'd sent you a message asking what you'd like to be shouted out as. If it's like um, Kale or Salt Leg or the name actually on your Patreon or your real name. Um, Kale or, Kale or Salt Leg or Salt Leg Kale. <laughs> I'll put Kale or Salt Leg on here and I'll shout that out. 
<laughs> God damn it, Joe. Well, that's... The, oh, the, I can't use this card. <laughs> Oops. I mean, I can use this card, but it's all like, it technically serves me no purpose, because you'll... I, I'm going to burn through my deck so fast that... Ugh! I never expected my deck speed to actually be a problem. Too fast, never. too far. Well, plus he has a 40, not, he has like a 50-something card deck, and you've got like a 40-something card deck. I, I, I never thought that me, me trying to go super fast would actually be my downfall. Your downfall is that your deck's not big enough. <laughs> Giggity. It, and you, it you have to too much huge. search power. I mean, I, I'm. That's my problem, ironically. <laughs> that's um, my trick, Cap. I got a small deck. <laughs> but uh, no, no, that that's how when I when I came up with this idea of like let's do all the shout outs at the end. It was inspired by uh, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with like H Bomber Guy, or there's another channel called um, Misinformation that that's kind of funny. Where they like read off their their patrons' names at the end, and people always put weird things like "and special thanks to a fa an egg painted like a human face," like Bob Ross's dimples. Uh, Hi, my name is Jim, and I'm terrible. Like Doom Donuts, <laughs> Doom Donuts in 2019. The I'm well then. Crazy. It's all like I no think one. Kale no has one made me. a fundamental misunderstanding of what my deck is designed to do. Yeah, <laughs> because I like my things in the graveyard. I'm gonna put back two hand traps, and draw less than two hand traps. I thought you. I thought you disallowed hand traps, or do you have other ones that aren't ghost um, girls? No, we. I think we're fine with other hand traps. It's just ghost girls that we have a problem with. Oh, I don't okay. know. I don't know if. Uh, Did you hear you know we're, getting, we're getting the final ghost girl in this new set that's coming out? I haven't seen her, but I'd like to. No one's seen her. They just said that there would be a final, there would be another one, and that would make six, one for every attribute. Except for but, fine. For laugh. Well, well, I mean, here's the thing. They say there's one of every attribute, but Blood Blossom is a dark, and so is uh, um, Winter Cherries. Blood Blossom? Yeah, blood blo is blood blossom a ghost girl? No. All right, then we're missing two ghost girls. <laughs> you're missing two ghost girls. There, then, there's an it's... ash blossom. Is that what you're talking about? Ash. Okay, so it's Yuki Usagi, which is a snow rabbit, white rabbit. I yeah, forget, she's light. Ash then blossom ash is fire. Blossom's fire. Dogwood is uh, water. Ghost is Bell is Earth. Yeah, do okay, spooky, yeah. No spooky Dogwood is Water. Um, Ghost Bell is Earth. Winter Cherries is, is dark. dark. So we're just missing huh. a wind. Well, okay then. I'm stupid. <laughs> oh, I should have activated its effect. Am yeah, I why? Did, I was like, what I'm are you doing? Stupid. <laughs> you fool! You had a yeah, chance, and now nothing. And now I have become slushy, destroyer of worlds. I mean, what's... Oh, you, you can revive Rage of the Deep Sea. I thought... I thought slushy had like a... Like a wine glass at first, but I guess he's got like a slushy lid? Yeah, it's what it came out of. Did slushy is just an animate slushy from a cup. He huh. just came out of those two cups, you see. Did they change the art for, like, the TCG, or have I just always looked at that wrong? I think you nope. just always looked at it wrong. Huh. Well, consider me a blindman. I still don't understand Emperor Maju Garzit, Kale. Can, can you explain that, or is there some sort of secret that you're you're still keeping? It's, it's level, level 9, nine. is how he makes his thing. Oh, Okay. Simple as that. It's like, why are you playing this completely useless card that gains you no benefits whatsoever? Level 9. Okay, then. Alright, then. But oh, wait, it can't be... It must be special summoned from your hand. You can't summon it out of the graveyard. That's why I'm using, uh... 
what's it called? Starlight Starbright? No, Dwimmered, Dwimmered, uh, it's not Dwimmered Path. Dwimmered Magikite or whatever it's called. Yeah, Dwimmered Magisite, which is, uh, banish, it banishes a monster from field or grave to take on its level. It's light, it's stats are zero, zero. It just takes on the the level of whatever you banish. T-A-D-P-O-L-E. So um, how about no? I don't want to take that. I don't want to take this annoying damage currently. This tadpole's on fire. Because <laughs> he's got kind of a fiery pattern on him and stuff like that. Screw it. Blind allure. Always pays off. So you've risked all the Screw it. then. <laughs> so you've risked all and lost then. 80% of the all. time, it works every time. Now he has more life points than normal. And a whole bunch of 200 attack attackers. Oh, I'm just going to get poked to death. I don't like that. I want to ignore chain and take damage it. A turn. You're being pecked to death by ducks. <laughs> By 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 small wet creatures. I I really need to I really need to read that book at some point because it it's been like twelve years since I've been in high school and I still have a distinctive memory of that. I'm not sure if I've talked it about with with you guys here on the show or anything. I'm curious because you've talked about you're saying there's a book, following yeah. followed by uh, preceded by pecked to death by ducks and the, the, i'm not getting the connection the, the, the book the name of the book is pecked to death by ducks fear never heard of it yeah it was um uh, i forget who it was by or what it was about i just remember when it was in the library and it was like right next to some author who was like really prolific so you're going like me and my friends would always go and we'd be like oh there's all this guy's books and then right next to it is pecked to death by ducks and we're like the fuck is that <laughs> What a metal name for a book. Yeah. Well, that that's when we opened it, the very first, like, intro paragraph, there's, like, a, a foreword, and the very first thing it says is, there are no ducks in this book. <laughs> okay, then. That's okay, the first sentence. Uh, apparently, it's about a guy's, like, it's, like, his memoirs of being in Vietnam, and he he's, like... The way it wears down on your mental state is like being slowly torn apart by something dull that isn't, like, sharp. Being slowly yep, that... killed by a spoon or pecked to death by ducks. The very accurate what is happening to me right now. <laughs> That's how... Kale... <laughs> Did you just compare losing in a duel to Yu-Gi-Oh! to being a Vietnam vet? <laughs> um, no. I mean, I may have, but... <laughs> I may Thinking, have but accidentally, I mean, it's like, but it's like finally I can do something. To be fair, I kind of made that comparison without thinking of it. I just think that's like the weird, like I get what he was going for, but why would you use a euphemism that like sounds so goofy for something so serious, sir? <laughs> sir, soul taker. Oh yeah, I had ignore chain. That's why I didn't. That's why I couldn't chain to it. Well, that's why I didn't chain to it. Why did you have ignore chain on? Because thing, I I have no I have no actual valid reason past the point of me activating the Lord of Darkness and uh, what should we call it? I've 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 no valid reason after that. Good, I'm glad. I, at least you Cause, recognize. Because it's all like after that, it's just like well, I mean, there's nothing actually prompting me to do anything, so it's like I'm not dying anymore. I don't I don't think there's ever a reason to have ignore chain on. You've got the MST set that you're really waiting for, and nothing else set. <laughs> Pretty much. It's like you're waiting, and waiting, and you take the damage. But you still take the damage. It's okay, it's Golden Ladybug will make up for that in four turns. Seems to be doing its goddamn job, and I hate that. <laughs> Wait till I draw a second one. <laughs> No, it's funny, the, the ironic thing about the zero attack battle, like, the first time we did it, it's like, oh, it's a whole bunch of zero attacks, so you'd think it'd be really, sh really, like, long and drawn out. And the funny thing about it is that it's not because a lot of these zero attack monsters have the ability to get up to, like, 6,000, 8,000 when you look at, like, Terror from the Deep or Chaos Necromancer Sir, or something like that. stop that! And then this is, like, the double bait and switch. 
where it's like Intriguing. you go in expecting something and then I tell you it's not, but then it is. <laughs> it's exactly what you think when you hear zero attack. Could you summon out your big boy and finish me off that way, please? <laughs> uh, I would, but I, I can't. Also, he wouldn't be particularly large. He's only a couple things in grave. Actually, there's more than I thought, but... Summon out your big chungus, please. Big chungus. I... In oh, fact, I now can... I'm just going to nickel and dime you to death. You know what? Just for that. Just for that. Message, Message in a bottle. bottle. No material. <laughs> Take 4,000. GG. I mean, I have summoned out three monsters and no material targets, only one. So it's all like he'd really have to, he'd really have to have the goddamn thing if he were to do that to me. And now, since I have this many monsters, I'm gonna I'm gonna summon out my second, the second favorite dragon of this deck, Doom Chimera. Hey. Oh, uh, by the way, I can attack all monsters my opponent controls. Once each. But oh. you still take the damage. But you still take the damage. Well then. Goldie, gold, the golden damage. Ladybug is not helping you here. <laughs> <laughs> that worked. It only took 25. Hell, <laughs> why couldn't you just lose? Because <laughs> <laughs> I drew my two card combo. <laughs> now... <laughs> Now we gotta do a third duel. <laughs> it could have been over. I could have already been eating a delicious pizza, but no. <laughs> You're gonna make me miss Toy Story, Kale. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Oh, if, 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 if you've got to go somewhere, Chili, that, that's perfectly fine. I think the people have gotten enough entertainment. I'm not paying you uh, to be here or anything, so, you know. I, I was going to the 6 o'clock. There is a 9 o'clock one. <laughs> I was just wanting to make the 6 o'clock one. <laughs> Apologies. It just came out of nowhere. I happened to have the two-card combo, and then I proceeded to murder your face in half. Hooray! Face murder. My favorite kind. Um, nope. I play three of these, so that's fine. I'm trying to think, like... Because message in a bottle is is one of those like, it's it it has the potential to be broken. I and I'm thinking like could could Orcus make use of that because they could summon out three, make a bunch of links, and then just no, like... they can't. The thing about message in a bottle is that after you activate this card, you cannot special summon except by XZ summon. Actually, no, no, no. For the entire turn, you cannot special summon except by XZ summon. It, if you if you special summon. After activating this, you're locked out. Oh, if you, spe- okay. if you do any special summon except for Xyz summon, you're locked out. I thought it was just you have to Xyz summon or you take 4,000. Well, I mean, it does have that stipulation, but pretty much after you activate that card, you've got to Xyz summon or you're fucked. Okay. Oh, well, well thing rescinded then. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a big brain play had they not actually future proof the card. Well, that's because cause I'm thinking it's like, well, you they wouldn't have been able to, to know about, like, links or the fact that, like, oh, you could get the links and then, like, Ixy summon a, a, a an Ixy on top of that one link. They they future-proofed it by locking it only to it, that, by locking it only to Ixy summons, like how, uh, what's it called? Box of Friends? Box of Friends, no, uh. Hold up, my brain, my 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 brain is Princess failing Malone. me at the moment. What else is? Um, no, it's not that. Dang it! I've lost my mind. I and I don't know where I left it. Help! <laughs> Help! If you've located Kale's mind, please call the number on your screen right now. There we go. It's like Pot of Duality. It's all like Pot of Duality locks you locks you out of special summons for the entire turn. So it's all like they future proofed it by locking it only to specifically XZ summoning for the entire turn, much like uh much like pot of duality. It's like you you can't do anything otherwise. Um what do I summon? Something not entirely useless, hopefully. I might have to summon out my big defense boys because you're gonna fucking murder them all. Box of friends. Oh Gemnite and a labyrinth wall. 
I might have to put that into the thumbnail. <laughs> I don't know how... That'd be such a weird thing to, like, cut out and just put, like, eh, it's just a labyrinth wall, it's fine. The labyrinth make... wall versus Rage of the Deep Sea 2.0. Uh, actually, if I can make a request, I would like my thing to be slushy. <laughs> Just I'll consider it. Of wall. I do believe that you actually do have a slushy. Um, Cut out somewhere? Yeah. I have one. If you need one, I've got it. I made it yesterday. <laughs> we will uh, see. I'll have to look at like all the stuff and try to... It's funny because we're talking about this now and like by the time the people see it, the thumbnail will have already been made and they will have seen it and be like... Well, that's not slushy at all. Weird to think that they thought that could even be there. I put the both of you back, and I draw a fresh two. And I've drawn the useless card again, someone in my career. <laughs> Just two what Vortex you? Troopers. What that's, you? that's how hey, I'm going to the... represent this deck. Vortex versus Dimension Reflector. Well, that's new. Uh, I'm sorry, Labyrinth Wall. You will be loved. Just not currently. What are you going to do? Crash into me? Kill yourself in the process? No, I'm going oh. to summon out number Diamond 52. Crab King! The answer to towers. You absolute mad lad. He's the maddest of lads. But you still like take hate. the damage. He was an answer to towers way back when because his <laughs> attack becomes 3,000. Yep. Therefore, that attack reduction that Towers had, entirely useless. Even though it was continuous. I, I wouldn't think that it worked that way, but you know what? Anything to get out of Towers. And it's the same thing with Utopia, technically. It's all like, my attack becomes 5,000. SIR! <laughs> I Go love away. these little removal techs you have. Sir, I'm surprised you didn't play Fissure, though. Uh, well... The reason being is because the thing I was scared of was you, Bell. <laughs> ah, you know what? That's a so definite... I went for Soul Taker, which you Bell misses timing with, and Dark Core, which doesn't destroy. <laughs> gotcha. Because I was like, he's gonna play you, Bell, and that's gonna be a nightmare. I would have loved to play you, Bell, but I can't play Dragonic Diagram along with it. Why not? Because um. Oh wait, I can search the. Well, I mean, we we locked ourselves out of archetypes. Remember. Yeah, no, we didn't. We we said don't make an archetypal deck. Yeah, I what? mean, is, I, you're you're not playing like because if that was true kings, case, was, you're just playing Dragonic Diagram and a couple traps to search so that you can use it on you, Bell. You know what? I I completely misread that then. <laughs> yeah, because it's like you're not case. really playing an archetype if you're not playing any of the monsters from it. Because if it was like a no oh. archetypes thing, I'd be disqualified because of my Atlantean, and your World Chalice and Number monsters would be given some you, problems, as well as your Gem Knight. Your field spell makes my monster level one. Thank you very much. <laughs> what are you gonna you do? Know. Make the the thing with two hundred attack and just attack for directly for four hundred and then die next turn. I mean. When you say it like that, Joe, it makes it sound stupid. <laughs> when you say it like that, Joe, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, I'm going to summon the boy. Well, when you say it like that, Joe, I withdraw my Patreon splash. <laughs> no, it's not that serious, Joe. It's not that serious. Um... I activate my special ability. Try me. Number archive. I summon a fucking library! <laughs> oh good, you did try me, thank you. For a second there, I thought you weren't going to try me. I mean, I'm pretty sure it causes a replay if you summon a new monster. Which I do. Which is big. I mean, he could just move the other three to defense. Good, end of battle phase. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I was stupid! End of battle phase. I discard I, my hand. <laughs> I made a fool of myself. <laughs> I made a fool of myself. I've, I've done this foolish thing. It's okay, Kale. People are laughing. And maybe they're laughing <laughs> with you, but or maybe they're laughing at you, but you know what? You brought joy into their hearts. I, Comment I in the comments if Kale... If Kale 
Wait, what? Numbers Archive banishes the monster. That's why I said I fucked up. Oh. I thought you it fucked up the... because you discarded your entire hand for no reason. I mean, that's also a fuck up. <laughs> you double fucked up. Uh... But yeah, comment in the comments if Kale has brought joy into your heart. That'll make him feel better. It will. I'd say to do the same thing for Chili, but Chili's just alright. Sad. I mean, he's not bringing sadness into our heart, but I'm, I'm not sure if I felt joy around you yet. Joe is bringing sadness into my heart. <laughs> well, That's you're still much... alright. It's not like I'm saying anything bad. There's nothing wrong with being mediocre. Put it like that, I'm going to refuse my Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, when you put it like that. That whole one dollar you get from me. Hey, every yeah. every dollar helps, you know. I'm not going to turn down one dollar. server mod. <laughs> you are a mod, but that's because I can, I can trust you to do the right thing. You're like a, a whatchamacallit. Uh, what's his name? You're like that Spike Lee film. Doom Donuts. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. That's oh, with an original attack. Me. Okay, so it would still kill... It would still kill my rage, but... It would still kill Rage of the Deep! Speaking of I mean... which... Sir, stop that. Oh, that's I not Rage of the Deep. I hard enough to kill your monster. Stop it. That's not Despite... Rage of the Deep either. Despite all my rage, I am still just a rat in a cage. So you've got you've got a cool thing, but you've got no draw power. And you've got... Uh... I, have, I have draw power. It just requires monsters in my hand, and usually they're better served being on the board. <laughs> In all honesty, I faced a far more terrifying deck against, um, um, Mate. Oh, yeah, I, Matt. Yes, it's all like, he made a, he made an actually terrifying Loud Cloud deck. <laughs> and it's just like, you know, I wasn't expecting this monster to be as terrifying as it was, but somehow you made it terrifying, and I don't know how to feel about that. That I'd like to see. Loud Cloud um, has a lot of potential if we ever get that Wind Earth. What is it? Wind and fire. Wind and earth. Wind and fire. And he made he made a deck along with this zero zero archetype challenge. And it's all like, okay, I'm actually terrified, but mainly because you put in prohibition. But still, <laughs> terrified. Black luster thoughts. Black luster loud cloud. Envoy of the clouds. Black luster loud cloud. Envoy of the storms. Envoy of the U.S. Postal System. <laughs> Wait, um, what? That's my turn. Now the real okay. question is, do you play H Heated so you can kill him off with that uh, <laughs> piercing damage? I wish. That would be smart. <laughs> or Big Bang Shot. You could do your best Vegeta impression. I don't trust his face down card, but you know what? I don't like that B in his hand either. Yeet. Well, you I got rid of your ladybug. Now what? Oh, I should have kept Starlight Star Bright. Fuck. <laughs> I should have kept one of my game winning combo pieces. I mean, I play three of those and two message in a bottle. Oh no, there's only one left in the deck. Um, it's I'm... about to get real slow, isn't it, Kale? It's about to get real slow because I don't have any of my power and you still. I mean, I, I I pitched your ladybug, so we're fine. Oh, no. And you can't destroy anything by battle, and you have no piercing because you didn't think about it. Exactly. And no direct attacking either. Cha-cha, real slow. <laughs> the way you said slow sounded like someone's heart was being broken into a million pieces about five, five hours away from me. <laughs> All aboard the slow train. All aboard the slow, bad feels train. Choo, choo. God, that hurts. Stop it, Joe. I didn't come here to feel. <laughs> I came here to invoke feelings, not to feel them myself. I I summon this, and I shuffle my hand. My what hand do? is not shuffled very well. This hand of mine glows with a shuffle power. 
<laughs> oh, I for- it oh, tells I t- me the golden ladybug. <laughs> God damn it! I took out my uh, my return to the front line. Like, like e- even though that was like the big combo that, that I showed up in the first duel. God, yeah, kinda. That was a foolish mistake on my part because I'm still playing magical hats. Stop that, sir. Thank you for the draw power, but stop it. He said stop. Wait, two an attack? Yeah, it's all like you still gotta fight Mr. Big Chungus right here. Big with the Chungus. grand defense. I just didn't want my snowman either to be lonely. <laughs> Look at uh, him with uh, his little stick hands waving about, trying to lure people into being slaughtered. He's a good guy, though. That's actually mildly terrifying, Joe. No, no he, one bad. No one bad ever wore a fez. Um, <laughs> some might disagree, but okay. Give me two examples. Um, uh, the Will Ferrell character from Austin Powers. Was he and... a bad guy? Yes. Huh. He was a very ineffective one, but he was one. <laughs> What if, and... if, if a bad guy is so bad at his job that he accidentally helps people, does that make him a good guy? Oh, no, he was just bad at his job. He didn't help anyone. Oh, okay. He was just ineffectual. <laughs> and uh, Aladdin. Aladdin's not a bad guy. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah, he does he... lie and deceive people and care only about material wealth and appearances. Yeah, he also had phenomenal power, could have ended world hunger, and decided, nah, I'm gonna go bang one girl. He also stole bread at the beginning. I don't care if he's starving. He's violated the law. Stop. He will pay the court a fine and serve his sentence. Um, You'll surrender your... <laughs> your stolen I I'd... goods are now forfeit. I can only do this once, so I pray that it works. I have altered our deal, and pray I do not alter it any further. <laughs> oh, hey, Rocco. I... Have you come to watch One? the deal? No, he's come to sit in a chair and look adorable. Joe, put Precious. a picture of Rocco up on the screen. Joe, take oh, a picture of Rocco. Him. He's a good kitty. Joe, take a picture of Rocco currently, so that way you can put that up on the screen, too. I'm not going to have it like a... Oh, wait, I'm going to edit this tomorrow. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, let me get my phone out. Let me go ahead and make a picture. Hey, Rocco. My, Is oh, his I, life modern? It, I mean, yeah. I mean, everyone who's alive now has a modern life, technically. Somehow I came prepared. Ha! I got your... I've stolen your soul, Rocco, and put it into this camera. Now what? Joe, oh, wait, what did I miss? Of, did you just win? Um, I mean, I could win. <laughs> Bless you. I mean, if he has Battle Fader, it's it's not like he can fade your battles. He Maybe doesn't have so Scarecrow? Scarecrow either. One more turn. <laughs> One more turn. It's not. I mean, if he's got uh, what you call it. Before you do anything, oh, connection has been lost. I'm gonna just count that as KO winning. We're not doing that. Again. <laughs> you Pretty could much. have won. I could have won. Unless he had a <laughs> uh, what was it? Not Soul Taker, Dark Core, and just banished it again. Oh, uh, that would have sucked. Yeah, that would that would have made my life very difficult, very difficult. Well, anyway, that 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 was certainly an interesting thing. I hope you all out there watching enjoyed. Definitely more of a back and forth than I would have expected. At least after that first duel. <laughs> Oh god, I dick myself. Chili out. just hanging out, waiting for Kale to kill himself. <laughs> Pretty much. That's how every testing duel went. So. <laughs> Kale, I did you did you have any last words more. before we head out? For me? Um, yes. I'm surprised I won that what with this man being five hundred attack point poked to death by ducks. <laughs> yeah, your stall didn't stall quite as much as uh, you had hoped. Or did, but it stalled too well that first duel, and then not well enough every subsequent duel. And uh, how about you, Chili? Any any last words? Final thoughts? Uh, I'm kind of disappointed that Kale didn't decide to, you know, play Uriah. I'm yeah, because 
when, when he interesting, started... the favorite thing I got to do was beat over Uriah with slushy. <laughs> And just this little guy in a cup beating a literal divine god. It's a fake divine god, but still, had you, I, I do have four continuous traps, so had I actually played Uriah, I, I could have, it would have had some attack. I, 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 saw, been a I saw you summoning those zero attack, like, trap monsters, and then you had the continuous one, and I was like, oh, is Uriah gonna come out? No, it's Elemental Grace Doria. <laughs> <laughs> It was like a level 10 boss monster? Nope, level 9. Kale likes level 9s. Kale likes level 9s too much to summon out something that, you know, could actually be useful. Nah. Yeah, def- definitely. But you know what? People got to see something they probably never got to see before, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Comment down below with what you thought. Thanks for watching, and until next time, good luck! And have fun. Oh,